to Life with Aisha and today we're doing a totally different video but it's actually been requested a couple times and um yeah a lot of people want to know my skincare routine so I thought why not do this get unready with me video and I mean I am cheating a little bit because my face is pretty much all the way clean um I started taking my makeup off with my makeup wipes and didn't even realize it but um yeah, so I'm about to get um, ready to finish that up now. So I'm going to try to prop this camera up over here to the side. I am not at home right now, so I it's, it's going to be a bit interesting to try to film, but, but we shall see. So <laughs> let me see if I can, let's see, put this prop up over here. Okay, yeah, so it's actually not that much light in here like I thought it would be. But um, basically, let me show you all the products that I use on my face. And then I'm going to demonstrate them all to you. I don't want this to be too wordy or too um, long. So a lot of this will be sped up. But I have been using my Black Soap and Turmeric Face Wash. And it's by the um, company Black by C. I will have all the information in my description box. For the most part, everything I'm using in this video is black owned. But this is how it looks it's just basically black soap and this is just a two ounce one um i do plan on purchasing another one of these but in a bigger size so that's that um i have this intense exfoliating washes by the company i think it's l and co and this is how it looks um and my skincare scare and my skincare routine is not really that long um my skin is really flourishing right now as far as I haven't been experiencing any little things with my skin so I'm pretty happy um, I've been using this pure rose water face mist and it's by H ancient cosmetics that's how it looks I've also been using this glowing skin essence shout out to my sister because she gave me this and she also gave me the exfoliating wash as well um, and this is from I think this I think these are from the same company and this is how it looks. The next two things that I use are the Rose Hip Seed Oil. Um, this is by Ancient Cosmetics as well. And it's 100% pure rose hip seed oil. <laughs> and the last, very last item I use is this Rejuvenating Cream. And it's by the company L & Co. And that's just how that looks. I'm going to do is take these cotton rounds right here. And um, I typically use these for like toner and stuff. But for right now, I'm going to be using them to get the rest of the excess makeup off of my face so i'm just going to use my micellar water right here and as you see i'm at the very end of it shout out to um influencer because they sent me two full size bottles of this and i have another one that so which is great because i don't have to buy one of these anytime soon so um i'm just going to use that on this right here just to get the excess the rest of the makeup off my skin okay and basically like so and I mean this doesn't get everything off of your skin but it does do a pretty good job see of getting a lot of it off look at how much was on my face and you probably couldn't even tell but I had a whole lot of makeup and I'm also going to get my lips because I do have a little bit of excess makeup I mean lipstick that was left on my lip and yeah y'all probably like stop showing this <laughs> my last time okay so the first thing I'm going to use is the intense exfoliating wash and I just put um and of course start your skincare routine off with clean hands I wash my hands before I start this video but I'm just going to squirt about that much into my hand without it wasting on me and um because this lathers very nicely I don't even add water to it Um, also, I use two different face washes. I have a couple other ones at home that I use. These are just the only ones that I brought with me. So, that's what I'm using right now. But I do own quite a bit of those. And, um, 
I take a um, washcloth here and I'm going to wet it. next on to the black soap and this is a foaming uh, wash which I really love foaming washers so do like three four pumps of that and and if I didn't state it already I used the exfoliating wash first because um I feel it just breaks down any leftover makeup and this is just a good facial wash for you know any blemishes or you know it's also good for acne prone skin which I don't get acne but you know never hurts to prevent anything because your skin changes as you get older and age so each year of my life I feel like I have <laughs> done a different skincare routine um, as I've progressed and get older and um it's just always good to update different things on your skin because just because a product was working for your skin, say, two years ago or even a year ago, doesn't mean it'll be working now. So, that's good and lathered. So, I want to wash it off. I'm trying to remember what I do next. Oh, this is what I do next. My glowing skin essence. And an essence which this is my first year, um, no, not first year, since it's just the beginning of 2020. But um, 2019 until now, it was my first year using a skin essence. And honestly, I can't just say this is just super contributing to like, you know, my skin just doing well or anything. But I do, I just like it. It's like a very lightweight um, cons um, consistency. And this is how it looks. And it just feels really good on. I don't use that much of it. And I just put it in my cheek area, my forehead, my nose, my lip, chin, neck, and then I just rub it all in. Then I go in with my rosehip seed oil and I don't do it like how everyone does. They, you know, squeeze it on their face because I've realized that that makes the oil go everywhere and I also use more of it. So what I do is I squeeze all of it out and I use the excess oil that's like on the tube here and I just wipe it down either side of my cheek area, stick this back in and repeat the process with my forehead, my nose my lip, um, chin, and anything extra, just dab it on my neck. And that's basically that. And rub it all in. And what I like to do is I like to rub upwards. Because we wanted to, we want to defy gravity as much as possible, you know. So you want to, when you moisturize your skin, to go in an upward motion. done this is my last step and that's applying the rejuvenating cream and it's honestly I feel like it's an extra step it's not really needed but because I have this I like to use it and they said I need to reapply after serum and that oil will be considered a serum type of product I actually think I just put too much of this on but I don't see my 
lip um, balm. I'm gonna put just a little dab of this on my lip. I'm gonna rub it in. Cause I like to put some type of oil on my lip to um, keep them moisturized throughout the night. So that is actually going to bring us to the end of this, I guess, tutorial. I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, and I will see you all in my next video. Hope that you all enjoy it. This is more of a close up of my skin. And yeah, so your girl skin is flourishing. It is glowing. Let's see, can you see me better? Me. So as always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.